How? How did I not see this room right here? Uh, I'm as blind as a mother's love. There is an autosave I could use, but I will not be using it. I deserve to be thoroughly punished for my foolish blindness. Only saw it once it was pointed out in the comments by Meg. It was so freaking idiotic. I was like, anyway, I'm gonna just live, live and learn. I will learn no lessons from this. Don't be delusional. Let's hit that rest button. These poor bastards need some downtime to recover from that absolute disaster that just happened. I don't know if they have enough food. I, I was not, I've been too preoccupied with their survival. Okay, they have put tons and tons of stuff that they can uh, partake. Hey, hey, at least we got some Luciferum and some Hyperweave times 16. I am so happy about that. <clears throat> Calm down. Just, just calm down. There's still this pile of food that we need to go harvest. Actually, there's 18, there's 16. There's so much gold and people over here. What if we went there? Well, what if we went there instead and redeemed ourselves? Surely I will not be punished for my greed, right? I don't care about this 1997 wood, even though it's savages that will be so much easier to deal with what if we just went here and you know just just murder 16 people no problem we will make it work right i am sure that i will not be punished terribly for my greed i will not be punished terribly for my greed i will not we're going that way after they get done resting uh, just uh, just deal with it it's fine there will be more quests going on. Let us focus on this human ceremony. I need to build our, our, our little nice reception area. We're going to make it fairly simple. Nothing extraordinary. Nothing absolutely insane. The question is, where do I want to host this uh, incredibly distinguished party? Perhaps make a nice little spot right here. Just dig into the mountain a little bit. Create a beautiful little room with only one entrance. And, uh, you know, go from there. So we're going to start there. I'm going to dig this out, make a nice... You, you do want it to be fairly big because they wander about. And, you know, you want the, the royal party to have a lot of space to do whatever they want to do. So instead... Let's mine out. Mm, let's, uh, I have to be careful with the support and all that good stuff. Uh, let's mine out like a 10 by 10 area. Like from here? No, this is... Uh, that's 10. That's good. I should be able to dig all the way to the middle without the supports collapsing. Let's make it fairly deep. And we'll put the throne at the very back. There you go. Eventually that will get done. Oh, this is so freaking sad. This is so freaking sad. Let's watch those moods go up. Because it was rough, brother. It was rough. A peaceful meeting with a bunch of butudinium. We could actually take this caravan and take everything they own. But let's just hit the trade button. We These are allies. We don't have to be instantly aggressive right <laughs> we can just take a look at what they got unless they have something incredible we can just let them go on their way you know an excellent monosword could classify as grounds to be violent a freaking locust armor they got some good stuff man is it worth antagonizing the one and only ally that i have people need People need to respect me more. We can only get 184 <laughs> out of that. I mean, we do have the Luciferum we just looted, but it barely makes... Like, we can even reach... Cannot even reach a thousand. And we do have the EMP grenade, so it is basically impossible to afford... To afford uh, the Locust Armor and the Mono Sword and the Plasma Sword. 
is it worth destroying this alliance? It is not. It really isn't. I'll need these items. We'll make it work. Let's just zero it out. Don't really want to sell any of the things that I have. Just, just zero it out. Is there a reason to buy anything they got? Maybe get some of their, mo their, their food. That seems like a decent idea. Just in case. Since we are spending so much longer out here than I was anticipating. Because we had to rest. It's kind of funky. This is fine. I mean, we do have, we did carry the 100 gold. With the 100 gold, it's only 394. It's just not. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Right? Let's see. I'm not going to sell the Luciferum. 80, 807. Eh. Not good enough. Just zero it out. Get the money. Uh, make sure that I'm not selling something I don't want to sell. Hear me. Give me your package survival meals. I guess we'll carry on. Give me one instance of medicine. And we can just move on. All right. You guys can continue getting better moods. What a freaking nightmare. I wish that you could, like, repair. Really? Really? A relationship, huh? It's from your enemy, the Axe Tiger. Says a relationship with a colonist. His Colt Shaw's husband? Uh, Colt Shaw. Where are you? Are you out in the in the <laughs> Are you out in the field, Cold Shaw? Let me look at you for a moment there. My bad, uh, I should have named you Coltona. You are a married lady, a married furry. Obviously, we got to rescue your husband. He better not be a useless piece of trash deadbeat. I mean, he he is into furries. That is strike 1. Let's see what you got. At least you can shoot a weapon. You are fond of cunning people. And you are nimble. Nimble is decent. I mean, this is basically a worker who sometimes puts a band-aid on your paper cut. That is about it. By being husband to Coltona, we're going to convert you fully. Let's see. Do we have anyone available to go rescue you? Everybody is out so busy. Is anybody out in the... In the field, absolutely not. Born to crawl, though. Are you doing okay? Yeah, born to crawl. You can go and capture Kevin. We're going to make this work. He is not, like, super loyal or anything like that, right? Because that would be annoying as hell. Okay, no, he's just... He's just a pirate. What are you... Wow, death in three hours. Do we even have a person that can cure this quickly? I think we need to send somebody out to the field immediately. Uh, doctor. La Catrina. The extreme whiner. Why are you so... Your nose is shattered? When did that happen? Uh, I forget exactly what happened with La Catrina. She's had uh, better times in her life. Uh, manipulation is 107. So she can... Let's uh, send her out. And she can intercept this capture and just treat her on the field because i'm pretty sure kevin uh he will die before he gets to the hospital bed i mean it takes born to crawl three hours to crawl all the way to the damn to the damn hospital like katrina slowly pacing toward it how are these fellas doing okay the moods are much better we're going to wait until meg has a full meal in her belly and then we'll get going. Or maybe what we'll do, I'll just m move? Really, you can't just go this way? That's so weird, like using the... Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Move over there. Okay, they're moving. And we'll rest outside in case it's needed. Born to crawl, bringing over the fella. Select Kevin. Death in two hours, yeah. Can you... No, you, you need to actually drop them. Quickly tend, Kevin. Just patch up those giant wounds. Her manipulation is super high, so it should be okay. It should be fast enough to patch up the wounds, and then we'll carry this poor bastard to a freaking medical bed. Over right, five hours. La Katrina, are you... Yeah, you are drafted. How about you... Carry Kevin. 
No, no, carry, Kevin. You're, if you're drafted, you don't capture. There you go. That's how you do. Now, death in five hours. So we'll be fine. All right. This slowly traveling down there. Well, let's see. Uh, we can follow La Katrina to the hospital. This needs to be micromanaged pretty closely. Man, we're kind of running out of, of medicine. Already tending Kevin. Well done. Well done. Whoa! Just don't use medicine. There you go. Uh, surely there will be an infection and we will treat that with medicine. Let's see. The moods are pretty high. Food. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, package survival meals. Bunch of pemmican. Only Meg is kind of is kind of upset. Let's wait for food, the food bars to go up. Come on, you guys can eat a meal, please. There you go. That's good. Go in. Attack this mining worksite. Surely, nothing bad will happen. Actually, maybe it's a good thing to wait until people are a little bit more healed. That we do have three days of food. Maybe just wait until like dawn or something. Because being wounded may be a deal breaker where this is concerned. Especially like Meg has medium freaking pain. All these cuts from the Mega Spider. Like this is a a real problem that can happen during uh, during a fight. How about we spend one more day out here rest? We're going to rest for one more day. It is upsetting. I don't like it. Kevin, as a prisoner, you shall be recruited. Actually, you will be converted to our cult. You're already all in a cult called marriage. We're going to induct you into the true cult of the Blargonites. Bruh, when is my cloth going to be grown? This shit needs to be harvested post haste. Look at all this disgusting rot. Blech. All right, now we can... Apparently, uh, in the comments, there's been a, a little bit of discussion saying, you know, feeding the trees. The trees are just really nice corpse disposal. It's not that useful as a um, way of getting resources. It's just a really nice way to get rid of freaking corpses. That's their main functionality. You get a little bit of bioferrite as a result but it's nothing that you're like trying to farm that is the the main conclusion that was reached in the comment which i seem to agree with what is all this blood what is going on here? oh yeah there was a giant fight that giant fight and that is the the result at the end this poor bastard does have a medical emergency don't we have blood packs they only bring a bunch of blood packs i guess i am misremembering Let's see. Health, operations. Can you give a blood transfusion? This poor bastard. Here. Operate on Kevin. Where is it? Uh, where is it stored? You put it in the freaking... There, it's all the blood packs. Why is it in the freaking uh, freezer with the food? We're not making blood sausage over here. What do you think we are? Spanish? Uh, health pack. No, it's uh, hemo, hemogen, hemogen pack. No hemogen packs here. We gotta store them right here in the freaking hospital. There you go. A nice blood transfusion. You probably love me now, as you should, taking care of you. Okay, we're going to, uh, it's 8 p.m. We're going to attack at dawn. Wonder what's the health situation. Meg was the most beaten up. Wonder how long it will take to recover all this. But we can't stay out there forever. Wish you could auto repair the the mechs. Maybe I can quickly repair it once we spawn the map. Oh, hike should be off cooldown. Yeah, look at that. Convert, Kevin. Actually, we should actually be completely off cooldown. Begin conversion ritual. I believe you're already queued. Well, how about uh, I stop you? Dumbass! Where are you? Hike. Begin conversion ritual on Kevin. 
Quality is decent. We have a basically it's a 2020 toss up of uh, high rolling versus low rolling, and that that this is a skewed. This is skewed towards it being bad. In fact, still gonna do it because the benefits outweigh the downsides. I think I have a higher chance of it being beneficial because if it's effective, if it's a, an effective one, you get the mood buff. So it's probably like percentage wise, the risk is worth the reward. You can do it. Come on, hike. Effective. Well, that, that is good enough for me. Everybody now. What you got? A, a plus three. I mean, it's not going to make or break the freaking colony. But it is a good thing. It is 4 a.m. How is it going, Meg? Are you going to please heal up? How slow are you healing up these cuts? Come on, just put some freaking super glue on it and tough it out. Just walk it off. These people are just so soft. These damn colonists. Combat supplier. Oh, nice. And we actually are able to purchase things in this place as opposed to the horrible... The horrible... Uh, riches that I was carrying. I think is Hike, our best negotiator. Warden. Hike. Are you... I mean, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Let's see what they supply for our combat. Let me take a look. Ah, hmm. through this brief interaction, it has come to my attention that we are broke as dirt. So, <laughs> it is not something in my purchasing power to afford any of these. I do want this low shield pack, though. It saves literal lives. And I am willing to part with all my gold. Um, I'll need all my gold. I guess we'll only part with maybe 75. Give them a little bit more until it matches exactly the amount of silver I've got. Totally worth it. The low shield packs have saved my bacon so hard. Let me just let, get rid of this wake up. Definitely the Yayo needs to go. Although we do have a chemical fascination idiot, but Yayo is not the way. Let's wait for the psychoid leaves to be fully grown. And then if he gets addicted to pot, was basically pot, he'll be fine. Actually, smoke leaf is pot. The psychoid leaves are a little bit stronger, but, you know, just dilute it in tea and he'll be all right. I really could use this medicine, though. I think it is time to uh, basically trade all my gold for this. Actually, no, we're about to get that cloth harvest, right? Never mind, never mind, never mind. The cloth harvest is going to come in. I will keep some of this wake up. Keep your medicine. We're going to make our own. Always buy the components, however. Okay, this is fine. We get our low shield pack and uh, a little bit of other things. Decent. Decent trade, but man, am I broke. We need to set up the brewery. We need to set up some profit making. We have some psychoid plants and they're ready to harvest. Are they being stored over here? Yeah, psycho leaves will be put there and then in storage. Um, let me allow them here. Because they do expire. This is important. This is important. Let's make this one critical. Bioferrite extraction has been researched. What does this even give you? Ceremonial hood? <laughs> How is this something for... That, that matters toward bioferrite extraction. Nerve spiker and ritual mass. Let's see what the hell these are. Crucible like device that throws rough spikes embedded with a paralytic biotoxin. Low damage, but it stuns non mechanoid targets. Uh, large targets are more resistant to biotoxin and will be stunned for less time. Why would I even care when I have a freaking rifle? I don't want to capture people alive. I want them all to die. Actually, uh, uh, yes, it is excellent. <laughs> if you want to, maybe capture some some prisoners as opposed to getting everybody just murdered and hoping that they don't die bioferrite ritual mask a haunting mask worn by those that worship the void 
pain shock threshold plus 15. I mean, cool. A, a, a very scary mask. Basically, cultist garb is what I just unlocked. How how exciting. Let's uh, get this bio bioferrite harvester, which I assume is something. Automatically start bio ferrite for capture entities. That is exactly what I want. So let's put that on. And we can pass some more time. What time is AAM? It's time to go attack, baby. It's time to attack. This is slowly being dug out. Good stuff. The fence shall be dug soon enough. It upsets me that people are hauling corpses as opposed to my elephants, but we did throw the elephants into the wilds. Wish them luck, because now we are going in there. Why did I bring Meg? As a person who... Oh, yeah, I thought that it was... Who was it? Was it like Katrina? One of these idiots that are pretty new are uh, had like a three in fighting. I was like, there's no way this... But yeah, it was like Katrina. She sucks as a fighter. Meg is good with the club. Unfortunately, though, she can get totally destroyed by uh, stray bullets. In we go. Into the gold mining worksite. Here I am getting greedy as a son of a bitch. I'm going to probably be very sad when one of these brave intrepid adventurers bites the dirt because <laughs> I was too damn greedy. It's going to be a bad time, but it's fine because I am accepting it. Okay, go in there. Zoom in. Yeah, we definitely have some freaking pirates, buddy. I like that you're equipped with a dumbass knife. I like that. I like that quite a bit. But, uh, Legion of Ray. Baseliner. All right. Trigger happy, but he has a freaking steel knife. What an idiot. Quickly, before we do anything else. Well, first, let's look at the needs. The needs are looking great. Please. Yeah, the, the needs are pretty good. Quickly, Blargo, repair Choppy. Cyber Trunk, Murder Thrust, and Ruffle Stump will be our lines of defense here. One of these elephants may die. I like this. This may be the best place that we can possibly hope for. We can all hold ourselves up here, provoke them into attacking. And probably our elephants will suffer for it because they will just wander about like idiots. In fact, we can maybe put a zone, area one, just keep the elephants right here, animals, go to area one, all the elephants to be there, nobody follow anything, elephant calf shooting, elephant calf, oh, one of our elephants gave birth while out in the wilds, that's neat, that's nice, the miracle of life happens once again. Come on, Choppy. Just uh, get up on your feet. Any of everybody into the hall. Holy crap. <laughs> he has a lot. Oh, and I'm having second thoughts. I'm seeing a lot of knives, though. I'm seeing a lot of knives. These people have no idea what they're doing. This man is the biggest menace. I don't see any other Molotov cocktails. So if this guy is brought down into the dirt... And let's get rid of all these damn uh, notices. Uh, if this man is brought down, we should be pretty good. Does anybody have equipped uh, uh, lance? Because that would be great. I don't see any lances whatsoever. What we can do, check out the wildlife. There's a warg, but uh, it's on the other side. Is there any wildlife that is on this side of the map? That's unfortunate. We could use an animal to go piss them off. Yeah, there's no there's no good wildlife here, unfortunately. This war could really come in handy if he were in a in a good corner of the map, but cannot get it done. Just don't get provoked into attacking just yet. Vector needs to go down. Hopefully we're gonna he's uh, being isolated like an idiot. Take Luciferum. I'll pass on that. That better not be at any point a misclick. I guess while we're here, how about we put Meg to work? 
create ourselves a an excellent place to um, dissuade my enemies from succeeding. Come on, Blargo, you need to finish these repairs as soon as possible. Meg is the expert digger, doing great there. We're going to put a zone, dumping zone, right there. We can hold that out. Or, actually, like so. Delete. Epidemis. No, can you maybe hold? No anti accessible po uh, spot. Spot. Uh, uh, chunks. There you go. Hold. Well done, well done. No, don't load that. Too heavy. Are you an idiot? Oh, you need to actually assign it to be hauled. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. Does anybody need a meal? Banana could you could eat. Training elephant calf, huh? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's drop those meals. No, how about you eat? Consume package to grab a meal. There you go. Going to watch out for these morons. Consume package survival meal eventually. Don't! Freaking elephant is eating it! The banana grabbed it. Cyber trunk! Mm. That's annoying as hell. Uh, could I maybe? Uh, haul it. Aha, uh -huh, and now I can consume it. Oh, too smart. Too smart for you, elephant. Okay, get over there. Is this mech repaired? Almost there. It's getting there. Right now, energy, though. All right, we're going to... There is a lot of micromanaging, I understand. It's, it's tedious, but it must be done. For the risk is great. There's nothing else to be done over here, right? We're, we're good. Everything is well managed. There is that scheduled. Our fence is being constructed. Okay, we can fully focused. Focus on this. Those meals being consumed. One of the package survival meals being eaten by an elephant. That is just the way it is, I suppose. Okay, Blargo, you gotta you gotta get done here. Come on, brother. Healthy. Nice. Let's go. This should be escort. Come over here. And let's get everybody in position. Meg should be in a spot where she can intercept idiots. And hopefully the elephants will flank that. And of course Choppy will get right there. Blargo get in there. And who will we send to try and get a pot shot on Vector? I think we're going to really try hard this one. And we're going to pick whoever has the moving 125, the highest moving stat. Clearly, Blargo, he's going to risk his life, go out there. See if we can get a shot on Vector. It is a rough time, though, to isolate this scumbag. In fact, it's just not going to happen. We're just trying to focus him down the moment that... The moment that he comes in range. Just shoot at Stella. Holy crap. Oh, there is... There is turrets. Hopefully he doesn't get shot down like an absolute buffoon. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Huh? How about you grab some cover there, Blargo? This is kind of dumb. Do not get shot down by the disgusting turret. Oh, come on. You cowards! There is some nasty business going on over here. Let's just completely ignore those elephant noises. <laughs> Carry on with our attempts at managing this nonsense. This is very risky. I really don't like it. 
But maybe we can get a shot on this turret. Alright, alright. They are actually attacking. In you go, Blargo. Get the hell out of there. Let's mow them down, alright? Oh, well, this is a mistake, isn't it? <laughs> are they not? Hmm, are they not think this one through? <laughs> Blargo is going to be intercepted by these people. Well, he'll make it in there. Don't worry about him. He's a tough guy. He'll make it. Alright. Holy crap. He can't. He went down. Look a bitch. Can you make it in there, Blargo? Oh, no. You can do it. Oh, he actually made it. I can't freaking believe this. Ah, this elephant. Nothing can be done. They're just gonna have to fight. Oh, no. Get out of there, Blargo. Let me just redraft everybody so the elephants start fighting. I hate this. I hate everything about it. Where is Vector, though? I mean, they are going down pretty fast. Oh, there's Vector. Focus on Vector. Vario, do you have a shot? You don't. Really should be turning on the combat command. Maybe even try and uh, send out Choppy. This is a worthy sacrifice. Fire at Vector. Single him out. Oh, he went down. <laughs> he lost his head. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, T-Rows with the giant snipe. With the, the legendary problem solver. Once more solves my problem. One of my elephants has gone down, but hey, these idiots are also being mowed down. This is okay. Look at Star trying to get out of there. Okay, everything's fine. No immediate danger on this elephant. It's fine. Okay, everything turned out really, really nicely. Now, Blargo, are you alright? You just got a little bruised. It's all good. That was... Uh, a little touch and go, a little difficult, a little upsetting to witness, but it feels good to get a clear victory after the absolute disaster of what we just suffered. I mean, it would be nice to just murder more people here, but I think they're going to be able to get out of there, get out of here before they all die. Oh, look at that. Another victim. <laughs> All right. There was an idiot cla crawling here. Yeah, Star. Uh, where do you think you're going? You're actually quite the star, aren't you? Slow learner, though. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Slow learner sucks. But he is super imbued body modder. Which really aligns to our, our people. The thing is, ugh, the shooting on the melee. I think we have so many people now that we have to be pretty picky. You pick somebody that cannot fight, you're kind of inviting disaster. I would rather just eat you, Star. I'll just eat you real good. And I'll be real happy to consume you. Let me just fire at you until you're dead. And, uh, uh, T-Rows? Yeah, you, how about you guys? You guys do whatever you want. I don't really care what you're going to do. Uh, Blargo should go and do things. How about you... Club starts head off. Meg, you seem to be very fond of doing such things. We're going to go over here and uh, open all these doors. Orders. We're going to allow everything. Nothing there, but we will claim everything. Ooh, doesn't... Don't we have to destroy the mini turret? I completely forgot about that. Completely forgot about that. Okay, Finn Damas, how about you go up there? You're still drafted. It's only one turret, right? Only one turret. All right. I mean, it's unlikely this turret is going to kill me. But, you know, a couple shots can actually create some problems. Please land the shots. I really should have sent Choppy in there. Even though it, eh, it might explode. Why risk it? And damn it, can just shoot it from afar. Please don't kill me. <sighs> it just got a freaking gunshot. 
find me. What a pain in the ass. All right. F and Damas quickly go in there. Blargo go in there. I want to leave this area as soon as possible. But, of course, I want to claim every single bit of things that are here. A ground penetrating scanner. We can't really take this. But absolutely, we will deconstruct it. Oh, man, that's too bad that uh, people with good materials just dropped. Dead? Okay, Meg, you, you go do whatever you want. Tyrus is treating the elephant. Uh, Blargo will open that up, and then we will deconstruct all of this garbage. And then we'll be ready to go. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct this deep, dr deep drill. T-Rose, deconstruct. Please? Oh, I wasn't selecting her. Deconstruct that one. Ruffle stun will be fine. F in damage. Do whatever hell you want. Consume meals, whatever. This takes a little while. Feels good to be successful for a change. We should be able to carry all these bodies and uh, butcher them later. Solar flare, huh? Thanks. I think it's only here, though. Doesn't happen over here. It does happen over here. Never mind. See, we got two components and one advanced component. That, like, it's totally worth it spending the time doing uh, some deconstruction. Component over here, very nice. Give me that deconstructed, and we'll, we're good. All right. Hopefully, we can load everybody, every one of these corpses. Of course, we want all the components, all the good stuff that dropped. The steel. I mean, I'll take it, but it's the first thing I was going to go if I can't load all this delicious food. Which is very unlikely I can. Look at look at how quickly that's filling up. Man, I got to spend some time butchering some of these scumbags. Let's uh, cancel that. I wish I had realized that that's a thing. We're going to... It's production butchering spot. T Rose can do it right here. Butcher forever. Uh, everything, just everything. Actually, just human like. Probably just butchering, and uh, I think half of it needs to happen. Because otherwise, I will not be able to. Prioritize the repairing to choppy after you're done uh, tending there, Blargo. Ah, this is always upsetting, but it's fine. Look at all these amazing resources. I think that should be okay. Reform that caravan. Off we go. Let's see if for now we can get it done. There is the 200 steel that I can also let go of. Eh. We'll see. What else is there? We definitely want to carry all that stuff. Let me just not take, like, a bunch of that steel. Don't care about the knives, but we will take the guns. They sell for a decent amount. It's never, like, nearly as much as what that thing says. But it's a decent amount. And look at the giant pile of gold. That's what we came for, buddy. And, of course, the, the food actually is not what we came for, is it? <laughs> what we came for was the humans. But <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the good stuff. Load all this nonsense. Look at all this delicious human meat. Excellent. Great stuff. And uh, we don't have room for, for all the steel, looks like. But we grabbed everybody. Everybody's loaded up. Max out the steel. Send. All right. Excellent. Excellent expedition. Hopefully nothing will rot. We'll be carefully monitored. And we got 40 minutes on the video right there. A, a nice ending to a disastrous expedition. I am so freaking sad. <laughs> the complex was a total bust. But we made up for it by harvesting a whole bunch of human flesh. Feels pretty great. great. Oh, and also gay. We got that pile of cloth going on. So very, very soon. 
and we'll be able to craft some medicine with all this herbal stuff. It, it, it feels like we don't have a whole lot of medicine, but we actually do. We have a ton of medicine. It just needs to be processed successfully. Uh, soon the, they will be back. wonder how long these guys are going to take. Let's see, from here to here. 1.3 days, but we have elephants, so it shouldn't take so long. They should be back tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, um, we don't really have anybody to do harvest. Is there, is there somebody that can do some plants? Plant cutting? Ragman is into it. But he is too busy chopping down trees, apparently. Buffoon! Get me some freaking cotton. I'm gonna crack the whip on your back. Get you to the plantation! Shit, man, you're not black, are you? Otherwise, that would be extremely racist. Ah, you're... You're the super ugly guy. Obelisk study progress, I see. Investigation of the obelisk has revealed some information. It is an archaeotechnological device that seems to interact with organic creatures at a distance. It is probably a piece of a much larger archaeotech structure that was destroyed or broken, broken apart long ago. The machinery at its core is inhumanly complex and frighteningly powerful. Its purpose and method of action remain totally mysterious. If not suppressed, its activity level will increase over time. You can't tell what will happen when the device fully activates. That is concerning. <laughs> I don't know. Is this an event? Is this part of this? Is that a completely different thing? I hadn't realized that all the runes going up. Infinite, infinite, raw. Uh, Twisty line thingy. I have no idea about Eldritch runes. I, have my, I need to brush up on my studies. They're extremely outdated. They're all the way from high school, and we, you know, that that's it's like medical. The medical field, the the rune work that you put on your Eldritch incantations to summon Shaglaroth, you get really really rusty on it. So it's very important to brush up on it. Got a lot of twisted meat over here. It will eventually become kibble once the hay grows into harvestable area. Actually, we should probably expand this. Get a little bit more hay going in this area. Please, Ragman. Brad Woman. Meet your compacted steel. All right. I mean, I'm done with it. I appreciate it existing. A lot of people digging over here. We're going to have the greatest reception area for the the Royal High Society. It's going to be excellent. Are we building back our chem fuel reserve? It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Hey, look at our fenced area. We can now order some deconstruction of this entire thing. Oh, we don't we don't have a door though. Put one right there. Oh, we do have a door right there. But there should be another one. Let's put it right there. All right, looking pretty great. These damn hauled corpses are so silly, but we do want to get rid of this disgusting pile of monstrosities. It's just gross as hell. Please, Ragman, what are you even up to? You are building things. You are our builder. No, build that. I guess, I guess you can do that. You need to go haul the freaking wood all the way to the storage. I just want you to harvest some cotton. That's all that I want you to do. Did I prioritize? No, he has grow. I mean, he has construct over, so he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. It's just that with effing dam is not here. There's nobody to harvest this cotton. Twisted over is a neighbor's end. Bruh, when anything reaches 100% activity, it will become dangerous. Send your warden to suppress these entities. Yes, yes, I want to I automatically suppress. <laughs> I didn't realize I, this is a tiny, tiny icon. Did not realize that was happening. Yes, go out, hike, hike, <laughs> take care of this. We are not equipped. They are not there. The full colony cannot handle whatever will come out of this. Horrible contraption. I can I don't want to I don't want to find out 
until we're at uh, full strength to be able to maybe be able to face it. Let's see, though. Like, is it a lot of work? It's like, wow, really? Oh, but it goes down. Okay, it goes down. This is just the progress to pr um, mm -mm, suppress it completely. I see. So I shouldn't... I should make sure that she doesn't get stuck doing that because it, it's quite a lot of work. Okay, Ra is Ragman done? He just needed to go meditate upon the proper alignment of these wooden doors. <laughs> full. Go and harvest me some cotton. Okay, that's good. Hold this granite block. And here's what I want you to do. Harvest this cotton. Hey, wow, amazing. Just pick some freaking cotton. Get me some ability to get this medicine pro processed. So hold all that. And we'll, we're good. Now that you have a pile of cotton, we'll be able to craft a bunch of medicine. And our low, low medicine status will go away. I'm going to leave it right here. Feel I feel like I just averted a massive cra crisis just by realizing that hey there's a little button over there <laughs> you should really you should really punch but maybe not maybe it would have been something we can we could deal with Blargo and rest and the rest are going to come back we'll deal with the aftermath of the return on the next episode.